Hello folks, I just want to show you what I've done with our Lanshan 2 Pro tent to improve the door securing or the flap securing system. This is a, a ultra lightweight tent that we're going to use for a walk from Geneva to Rome. Uh, my wife and I and our dog who can also fit in the tent. So let me turn the camera around and show you what I've done. Okay, so this is the tent which I've just put up. The issue is that the the string or cord at the bottom here, securing the bottom of the door flaps, is, is connected to the same peg and up to the top here. Um, and what happens is, because the door isn't being, the flap isn't being pulled down far enough in this direction, it's pulled out, uh, this happens and it's a reasonably windy day and you can see the pegs pulled out. Um, so, Changed it around the other side. Excuse me, it's a windy day if the sun doesn't come out very well. I've separated the bottom of the tent flap from the top. Um, and the line is, so there's two separate lines. This one just comes down to a peg, which is just has a loop. And this one, I've disconnected the uh, little adjuster here. <clears throat> and where it ended in a knot here, I brought that knot back up to the top of the tent here so it pulls it now from two places um, there is a there is a strap up inside here but uh, it's not totally tight so you can see it's a little bit loose so just adding this line up here just pulls down from higher up on your walking pole so that's that part now down the bottom all I've done is taken off the little plastic clip which I might change it's not very good it's very small and fiddly when you've got cold or wet hands and I just put that on a that's five millimeter bungee there's about four inches there okay and that's just fixed on with a loop to open it up just... okay just pull it down there's some velcro here so I think that's firm enough without connecting this little one here, which is fiddly. So I'm just going to, I'm planning on just leaving that loose. Okay, so that's the improvement I've made. Also, uh, it does really need um, a ground sheet or footprint um, because the floor is very thin and our dog's claws might go through it. The other thing I've bought are some better... inches seven inches a little bit longer a little bit meatier and so I've used the ones left over to hold my footprint down as you get eight of this when the tent comes okay so yeah that's what I've done I haven't changed I haven't changed this line here down at all it's just one continuous cord what I might do is add a pole that just holds this up a little bit uh, I don't think it needs it when the tent came from China, it did have a tube of silicon and two syringes. What I'm going to do is dilute the silicon with a little bit of white spirit and paint it on with a brush rather than squeezing it in with a um, syringe because it's a bit messy. So. <clears throat> the other thing I've done is install a line to hanging clothes and other stuff up inside the tent. There's a couple of loops. It goes from one side. Tell me that. Okay, can you see that little, little clip on there? Um, and it's, it hangs just below the bridge, so it shouldn't touch the skin and get everything wet. Um, and you can see in here uh, how the tent comes. There's a little loop here to connect the uh, tub to the walking pole. Um, it doesn't really go that tight, this tub, but um, I'm happy with it, I'm sure I'll be fine. We're not gonna be camping in the winter. So, uh, or, or, and if it rains, uh, we'll probably wimp out and get an Airbnb. <laughs> so it's a summer tent for us. So anyway, there you go. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you find these tips helpful. Ta-da. Bus, you coming? Naughty boy. <laughs>